Welcome to Blashford Lakes. Situated west of the New Forest in Hampshire, its ecosystem is well the most diverse and is home to a plethora of wildlife. The former gravel pits place host to some of the 382 species of birds that have visited the county. The surrounding woodland of birch, alder and willow, along with large expanses of grassland, it's no wonder that it attracts both birds and bird watchers in their numbers. This Hampshire and Isle of Wight Wildlife Trust Reserve is perfect to visit on a cold, brisk November morning. I've got my bins, let's go and see what we can find. At this time of year, hundreds of wildfowl make the journey from across Scandinavia to feed in these waters. From mallard to widgeon, shoveler and lapwing, all of these species have high concentrated numbers on the south coast, with many using the reserve as a stop-off on the journey to breeding grounds elsewhere. It's not only migrants that make the reserve a must visit. Blashford Lakes is a sanctuary for birds all year round, especially the UK's favourites. You'll be extremely unlucky not to see Britain's most loved bird, the robin. This red-breasted thrush is present throughout the year and its call is instantly recognisable. Breeding between March and July, its young develop its distinctive red front once matured into an adult. Feeding amongst the turned over earth, small insects and worms make up their main diet. Another prominent species seen here at the reserve is the smallest native heron, the little egret. Once extinct in the UK, this comeback king has been rejuvenated since it successfully bred in Dorset just 20 years ago. Now around 60 breeding pairs can be found in the county alone. With its long black bill and compact stature, it weaves through the vegetation, scraping up the bed of the lake with its feet to encourage the fish out of hiding. In doing so, the fish come into range for them to strike with incredible force onto their prey, stunning it and allowing them to feast on mainly small fry. Of course, it's not all good news when it comes to nature. Unfortunately, due to the general disregard of many people in the local community, the recurring problem is litter. Large quantities of plastic and tin are distributed across the countryside in Hampshire, as well as being a nationwide problem. This eyesore is endangering the wildlife, as well as being an all too common occurrence. With birds and mammals ingesting the harmful materials, there's a necessary urgency to solve this devastating problem. This isn't the only battle that wildlife has with humans. Over farming, the increased use of pesticides has seen the decline in so many of our raptors and it won't be too long before we see the last of them. This is where the Wildlife Trust comes in. Endless hours of work has been put in and finally we're reaping the rewards. Conservationists, volunteers and wardens have been creating a safe haven for so many species so we can treasure them for so many years to come. With their hard work and dedication we are now able to see species like the kingfisher, little grebe, reed bunting and so many more. This is certainly a reserve that gives both the birds and bird watchers a habitat to enjoy. <laughs>